In this video, will we find the second derivative of x cubed plus y cubed equals 37? First thing we're going to do is take the derivative with respect to x on both sides. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared times dy over dx. And the derivative of 37 is just 0. So now if we put it all together, we have 3x squared plus 3y squared times dy over dx is equal to 0. And solving for dy over dx, we get negative x squared over y squared. Our goal is to find the second derivative. So we want to take the derivative again. But by taking the derivative, we need to use the quotient rule. So we're going to take the derivative of x squared, multiply it by y squared, and then subtract it by taking the derivative of y squared, and then multiply it by x squared, and then it's going to be all over y squared squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of y squared is 2y dy over dx. Now we're going to substitute dy over dx equals negative x squared over y squared. So that was the result we had previously. So we plug it in. And now we're going to simplify. So the two negatives are going to cancel and make it a positive. And then we have x squared times x squared will be x to the fourth. And then y over y squared will be 1 over y. So the numerator becomes 2xy squared plus 2x to the fourth over y. We're going to factor out a 2x. And so the inside will be y squared plus x cubed over y. And now we're going to multiply top and bottom by y. And so the goal here is to eliminate the y below the x cubed. So when we do that, we're going to distribute the y inside the parentheses. So y squared becomes y cubed, x cubed over y becomes x cubed, and then the denominator is just y to the fifth. The equation we started with originally was x cubed plus y cubed equals 37. So we're going to substitute 37 in for x cubed plus y cubed. So we'll have negative 2x times 37 all over y to the fifth. That simplifies to negative 74x over y to the fifth. And now we want to find the second derivative when x equals negative 3 and y equals 4. So when we plug those in, we get 111 over 512. And that is our final answer.